Hey y'all, I'm Reba. This is my sweet heat hummus. It is so delicious. It's savory with just a hint of sweet. And as a bonus, I add turmeric in to get one box, well actually several boxes checked on my Daily Dozen. If you're unfamiliar with the Daily Dozen, I will link Dr. Greger's video in the description box that talks about it. But in this hummus recipe, you're getting carrots, you're getting beans, and you're gonna get your turmeric and some other spices too. I think you'll really enjoy it. Now I'm going to broil some jalapeno peppers. That's where the heat's gonna come from. I don't keep the seeds in, but it's gonna also give it that smoky flavor because I'm going to broil them. So, what you do, take some peppers. I have about three here, and I'm just gonna cut around the seeds. I don't need those in there. Okay, so the jalapenos are just about done broiling. Up, oh, they're done. So when you take them out, you can see they have, um, they almost look burnt, which is good because that's gonna give you a really smoky flavor. So what you do when you get them out, Hopefully they look a little bit burnt. And you take your foil. You could also use a Tupperware container. Uh-oh, man down. And you fold it up. And we're gonna let this just hang out and steam, okay? And then I'll show you what you do with them. So hummus can be one of those things that can get pricey to buy, and it's so easy and cheap to make on your own. So a lot of times, I just go ahead and make a big batch of it because we eat the heck out of some hummus. So for this one, I cooked my chickpeas from dried. I'm just gonna make a whole big batch of it. So right now I probably have in a few cups of chickpeas. Just about, you know, halfway up to start in the food processor. I cooked three nice sized carrots up. I just put them in big old chunks and cook them with the, the chickpeas. I'll add in the rest of those later. I'm gonna juice, start with maybe the juice of half of a lemon. heaping spoonfuls of tahini. That's probably about two tablespoons. A little fresh garlic. 
minced garlic. Again, probably about a tablespoon. Shake of onion powder. I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of turmeric. Obviously need our black pepper. Little onion powder. And then I'm gonna add in the chipotle uh, chili pepper as well. A little more heat. A sprinkle of that. And now let's check on our jalapeno peppers. Where did I put them? Okay. So after we broiled them, I folded up the aluminum foil and just let them hang out and steam there. So I do everything really by taste. So I'm going to probably put the equivalent of a whole jalapeno in there. We're going to need a splash of water. Again, this is something you just add a little at a time until you get the consistency you want. You don't have to add olive oil. It's not adding any health benefit for you. Just a lot of added fat and calories that at least my waistline does not need. So I have it to the consistency I want. Now, the taste test. And I, I don't mind it a, big, a bit chunkier. Uh, if you want it smoother, just keep adding liquid. So let's see what it tastes like. We might need some more. Trader Joe's sells these hot and sweet jalapenos. I'm just gonna add in a little of this hot and sweet juice. Still need something. I think it's salt. I'm gonna add a little garlic salt. But once you get the idea of hummus down, the tahini, the lemon juice, the chickpeas, I like to add uh, some sort of vegetable in with it to even cut the calories greater. Sometimes it's a sweet potato. That helps. That's what it needed. More salt or any salt. I don't start with salt. Pretty good.